Demon 79, the final installment of the five-episode sixth season of Black Mirror, is without a doubt one of the show's most avant-garde episodes. The episode, which is billed as a Red Mirror presentation, deviates from the rest of the season in that it doesn't make heavy use of technology and instead leans more towards the paranormal and the horrifying. Anjana Vason and Papa Esietu appear in the episode, which is the only one this season for which Charlie Brooker collaborated with Loki and Ms. Marvel writer Bisha K. Ali, who also served as executive producer on Joan is Awful. The tale is nonetheless deliciously twisted in a way that can only be found in a Black Mirror episode, despite all these points of distinction. But how does it unfold and how does it end? In Demon 79, a mild-mannered shop clerk named Nita experiences workplace racism and small-scale slights from her co-workers in 1979. Since her mother has passed away, she is alone herself in a little flat. She imagines brutally murdering individuals around her as she goes about her days dealing with racism and sexual harassment. Then, one day at work, she discovers a talisman with the traditional white bear emblem on it, a motif black mirror has frequently recurred, along with some newspaper clippings, chronicling a string of murders that occurred before May Day. She marks the talisman with some of her own blood, which releases the demon Gop. Gop adopts the persona of Bobby Farrell from the punk disco band Boney M, because Nita likes the way he looks. Gop warns Nita that if she doesn't murder three people in the next three days, nuclear war will break out and the world will end. In order to save the world from imminent disaster, Nita regretfully embarks on a murderous rampage. However, she picks her victims meticulously in order to only murder those who have acted improperly themselves. Demon 79 is introduced as being presented by Red Mirror in the beginning of the episode and in the season 6 trailer of Black Mirror, an apparent new label that sets this episode apart from others. Charlie Brooker has indicated that this is due to a modest change in focus, although past episodes usually had important technology at their core, this one does not. Demon 79 opens with a Red Mirror Presence title sequence, marking it as different from yet adjacent to Black Mirror, according to Brooker. This is due to the fact that Black Mirror has traditionally focused on media satire or technological dystopias, whereas this story has a greater supernatural element that is reminiscent of 1970s horror. The incident is hardly classifiable. Whether Gop is genuine or merely a fabrication of Nita's imagination and an indicator of her declining mental state is still up for debate throughout. The talisman appears to turn into a domino towards the conclusion of the episode, suggesting that this was always the case and the entire situation was in Nita's imagination. The episode's climax, though, seems to establish for all time that Gop is in fact a demon and that the end of the world is near without Nita's assistance. Near the close of the episode, Nita is considering potential targets when she considers Michael Smart, a local conservative candidate for parliamentary office. She requests that Gop predict Smart's future, which he reluctantly does. Smart will eventually found his own party, be removed from the Conservatives for being too hardline, and become the fascist Prime Minister of the UK, apparently introducing the metalhead robot dogs into society. The fans of Smart's work in hell, according to Gop, won't approve of Nita choosing him, he claims. Nita decides to pursue it because he still complies with the regulation. After a disagreement with Nita, Gop decides to leave. However, she is being pursued by a policeman. Smart is run off the road by Nita's automobile, but he survives. The policeman stops her as she is about to kill him with her hammer and takes her into custody, 